This next story is about a local teen who landed inside a pretty famous publication. He submitted a photo to a contest, but he didn't use any filters, editing, or cropping. He took it the good old-fashioned way. Absolutely, and here's Melissa Cole to explain. Jack Wazalowski, a senior at Hall High School in West Hartford, loves taking photos, but not with his smartphone. So this is the Kenny One program. I got it for like $35 on eBay. Jack's mom, Sandra, says he has quite the collection of cameras from decades past. He'll go to flea markets and find some, some great camera or something, and yeah, he'll, he'll love, he loves the old stuff like mm -hmm. that. I think film, um, it's more timeless than like digital photography, and it has, it has just a, a cooler look to it, I think, and uh, yeah, so I've, I'm really interested in it. So you mean the film camera, like the ones that we had when yeah. we were younger, that you Coming take the picture, you have to develop it, uh -huh. wait to see what it's... Yeah, it's, it's like we live in like such a fast-paced world, I'd say, and it really just slows it, everything down when you can't like see it immediately. You have to like wait, you have to, and each picture you take costs money because you have to send it out to be developed, or um, we actually, I learned to develop on my own, but um, it costs money, so you, you really have to think about what you're doing before you take the photo. Jack's journalism teacher asked the class to submit a photo to a New York Times contest. So this is your friend Max? Yeah, this is my friend Max. This is like a ramp that he built. Um, and I took this on like a Canon AE-1. It's like a the, your everyday like film camera. And so you probably didn't know what it was going to look like until you developed yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I had, I had no idea. And there's like the cool blues and reds that came out with it, which I, I really like. The theme was dispelling misconceptions about their generation, Generation Z, since theirs is the first one to grow up with smartphones and having that instant information. We have the little thing in our kitchen where you can just ask what the temperature is and they'll <laughs> respond to you. Like, uh, um, but there's a lot of people that I know that are very like willing to put time into things and um, be patient and like very independent thinkers and like creative people out there. Another misconception that they're always inside using technology and on their phones. I have a few photos of like we, we built this hut in the woods that like we spent like every like Sunday morning like building this cool like wigwam with, um, and we just were we're very outdoor people we, we love to like, go on hikes and stuff so. So not just on your phones yes. playing video games. Mm -mm. I don't play very many video games at all yeah. And he's the type that, you know, some kids will play video games to relax and to get rid of the pressure. Jack would always go out to the, either the street or the driveway and get on a skateboard and practice jumps and uh, that's how he would relieve his stress. <laughs> Sandra says it's not uncommon for he and his friends to be outside for hours exploring, building things, skateboarding. And that's why this picture was the perfect photo to submit since it really captures a day in the life of a typical teen. So when did you find out that yours had actually been chosen as one of the winners? Um, it was like late uh, fall, like a few months after I submitted it and I got like an email from the lady at the New York Times and it was, blew my mind. I wasn't sure if it was real or not and it's cool. That's amazing. Yeah. And then here's the actual news article. And yours is like front and center. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. When Jack isn't taking photos or skateboarding with friends, you can find him working on these stop motion movies. Um, so this is an animation I made for my art class um, like last week. And then the next big decision is where to go to college next year. His mom is very proud of him and all he's accomplished, especially his recent recognition. You know, it was one of these things he was doing in school. I wasn't really even aware of, of it and so it was a great surprise. Mm -hmm. I mean, the New York Times is a big deal. It is, it is. So are you going to frame that, put it Absolutely. in the house somewhere? Absolutely, yep. <laughs> that is so amazing, so cool. That what was terrific. Kid. Yeah, yeah, really good kid. Yeah.